guys and welcome to my next reaction to the clone wars so the first two parts of this story arc was definitely um very action-packed i feel like we're still gonna have a lot of action we you know still still gotta escape we have stuff to do um but i i like to look a couple of the the points being brought up and some side conversation the themes of you know i don't know if we're gonna explore that anymore but um i'm quite excited to continue let's get into it what's our next move we're gonna have to fight our way off this rock contact the council see what I they assumed. plan to rescue us your rendezvous point will be this island may the force be with you okay get to work basically <laughs> Deepest respect. Hoping to surprise you with good news. Good news would indeed be a surprise. Ah! <laughs> Have the prisoners been captured? Not yet, Damn. My lord. I need not remind you that the prisoners are carrying secret hyperspace coordinates into the core systems of the Republic. This information will allow us to launch a surprise attack on Coruscant. I will see to it that they are soon back in our possession. Right now, your honesty is the only thing keeping you alive. Great. Or two, we need your choice to hold off the enemy as long as possible. Follow me! This is sheer madness! Oh! <laughs> Prepare for attack! It was an honor to serve under you, sir. Oh, well that is just, that's sweet. Keep moving! <laughs> Oh, wow, they really, they really did that. <laughs> oh my god. Depending on the size of their force, I don't know how much time we can buy you. If the team isn't at the extraction point when you arrive, you may be forced to leave them will put us all at risk. They'll be there. <sighs> Prisoners have a Bring out the Anubis! Use them for tracking only. Oh! No, let's not bring out these guys. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Okay, well everybody keep an eye out. What if your Jedi friends were not there when we arrived? Keep moving, and you won't have to worry about that Tarkin. Oh, Tarkin. It's like he's not even grateful we rescued him. Captain Tarkin feels the Jedi should be relieved from the burden of leading the war effort. That's ridiculous. Maybe. The Jedi Code often prevents us from going far enough to achieve victory. A rather simple point of view. Wow. Either way, he is a good captain. Did you hear that? Yes. They're going to have company. I'm counting on you to oh. ensure that nothing slips past our blockade. You know, it's not wise to argue with Master Peel. <laughs> it's certainly not a good career move. I stand by my principles, no matter what. Besides, I needn't worry about my career. I've fallen into favor with the Chancellor. He shall support me. Oh? Oh. I happen to know the Chancellor quite well myself. Oh. Really? Really? Let's keep moving. If we're not at the rendezvous at the exact time, oh, we'll miss wait. our window. I feel... Oh. If they've caught our scent, they'll lead the droids right to us. We're gonna have to deal with them. What about using this cave to surprise them? If we can get them to pass by, we can attack them from behind. But we need a distraction. Leave that to me. <clears throat> and Obi-Wan, of course. No, this is not good. This is for sure not good. Oh, R2! Ahsoka and 
take care of the drones. That's right, R2. Iconic. Iconic always. Is he dead? He's dead? Oh. I have to get help! No! Don't leave. Listen to me carefully, child. I need you to deliver it back to the council. I should find Anakin or Obi-Wan. They need to hear this. I lied just so I could be a part of the mission. Whether you were meant to be on this mission or not, you are now the most important part of it. Aww. Remember this. See to it that the information I'm about to give you is revealed to no one but the Jedi Council. Oh, we're so good. Squad, come with me! I will deal with this personally. Oh I'm feeling this episode was gonna be a lot of action. Oh no. He died, honorably. What about the information? I have it. He told me just before he died. We don't have much time. Let's take this moment to honor him. Then, we must move on. He would have wanted us to complete our mission. The extraction point. sacrifice. We now have the Nexus Rav coordinates. Captain Tarkin and Ahsoka have each memorized half. I was instructed by Chancellor Palpatine to bring the intel directly to him for debriefing. I promised Master Peel that I would deliver it only to the Council. Personally meet with the Chancellor, I will. Decide what is best to do. We shall. Great. Did you assign Ahsoka to the mission? It appears I did. It appears. It appears. Not it appears. Wow. Loyal. Ride or die. Control Love that. Done, I wish more Jedi had your military sensibilities. Wow. Perhaps I can inform the Chancellor of your valor. 
Uh oh. I'm not sure what to think of your new ally. Mm. Well, me neither. I think we need people like him. This is a war. Well, if you're not willing to do what it takes to win, we risk losing everything we try to protect. Well, unfortunately, war tends to distort our point of view. True. If we sacrifice our code, even for victory, we may lose that which is most important. That. Fair our point. Honor. Fair point. Fair point. Interesting. I like the whole... Okay, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. I feel like the episode's about to end. Maybe... Here we go. Okay, hold on. Okay. This episode was a lot of action. It really was. And I thought it was going to be a lot of action, and then it was a lot of action. There were... Um, but interesting stuff. I'm going to... I You know, I really liked this story arc... In the I mean, yes, there was a, um, a lot of action going on, which is, you know, fine and uh, enjoyable and um, I like. Uh, but there was a little bit with this uh, story arc that I found to be very, very interesting. So, obviously, in the last reaction, I talked about Tarkin. That's his, that's his name, right? With a T? With T? Okay. Um... And I, I liked the, as I said, the conversations between Anakin and him that kind of had to do with what I find it all really interesting. Um, you know, why is there a Jedi code? What if you don't entirely agree with the Jedi code? You know, um, but there is a certain, you know, there's there's rules and principles for a reason. Um, because on the other side of it, if you uh, disregard the, the, the code or disregard rules um, or whatever, then, um, you know, you can completely lose your way and go too far off the deep end. They're especially in a war. I mean, it's it's there's a very fine line that can absolutely get blurred very easily of what is right and what is wrong. And obviously, you know, seeing Anakin kind of through, and I actually preferred it. Let me see. I'm not sure this makes sense. We'll see. Whenever Anakin is with, you know, like Palpatine, it, there's a bit of like it it's I don't know if I'm gonna explain this right. Let's try. Um there's a bit of like you kind of know you know where a lot of this is going and you you know and you're kinda of just like it's all shady. You know, you you're looking at the whole situation, the corner of your eye, like mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But having him have these conversations with somebody who uh, is a little bit, um, you know, I mean, originally I kind of liked that idea because it, it was not really coming from Palpatine. However, now I feel like it was coming from Palpatine. So, Because <laughs> he's like, I have a relationship with the Chancellor. It's like, cool. Um, but uh, anyway, the point being, I kind of liked that it was a conversation of, you know, maybe not trusting entirely everything that the Jedi do and, um, you know, uh, why, why Tarkin felt that way and having that conversation with somebody who wasn't Palpatine. Does that make sense? It was kind of just, um, felt like a like a good way to kind of make Anakin's questioning of everything a little more authentic. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, but I also, I would love to have seen a little bit more of, um, you know, um, Tarkin and his experience, why he feels that way, how much of it is influence you know or how much of it is actually his own experiences with the Jedi um, you know we have um, we see a bit with the Jedi in, in 
general with with Jedi we like and and trust and everything like that and I just I don't know I'd, I I would have just loved to see his experiences why does he feel that way or whatever I also like that we saw a little bit of him kind of like coming over to the maybe the other side of things where not think he thinks that Jedi are very useful. I just think that he, maybe he feels like they're, um, they're not, um, you know, if they have a code that kind of restricts them in some ways, then, you know, maybe they could have won the war earlier. And potentially saved more lives if it was, if it was maybe I don't know. I mean, I don't really have a stake in that that, that argument. I'm just uh, kind of trying to see what he could be kind of thinking with all of that. Um, and I don't know. I I liked that you know that he was saved by Ahsoka. I liked that he kind of you know. Um, Get credit where credit was due. It had been covered in a lot of sass, sure, and attitude. But you know, um, I uh, yeah, I I liked the dynamic of of particularly him and Anakin. Um, I was kind of hoping that it you know it wasn't really a. Um, influenced by Palpatine thing because that was kind of where I was like oh it's kind of interesting to hear like this stuff um come from somebody who's just serving and you know but basically what I said at the end of the the last reaction um and kind of uh, having a very different perspective the majority of the show we see through the lens of uh the Jedi and that's fine but I do like sometimes when they, they put a little bit of focus on characters that are maybe just as prevalent in the war or in the effort to, you know, like I I tend to like the, the political stuff or the senator stuff. I would love to to explore more maybe of the, the military side of things and, and how they feel about the Jedi and, and everything like that. Um, and obviously you guys know I would love even more, even though there is some focus, but even more and more and more and more and more focus on the clones. It's called the Clone Wars. It's called the Clone. Focus on the clone. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so I, I actually really love when they get into kind of the gray areas, the messy areas, the... You know, um, and even Obi-Wan at the end of the episode making a good point. You know, it's just, I, I really like when they explore that, especially in something that is just so high risk. I, that's the best way I can put it, as war. It's like, what decision do you make? And the codes that you abide by or whatever is, you know, um, people's lives are at risk. And to dumb it down ridiculously and I don't really mean it in such a frivolous way but like you're playing with people's lives not really but you get what I'm saying there's a lot of repercussions if you don't make the right decision or whatever and to see people from very different perspectives of the war um and also I love I love any of the I mean I've talked about this so many times but I love any of the the uh, um episodes that kind of deal with just people who are just trying to live on on their planet and then somehow they get sucked into this, you know, back and forth pull and push and whatever. You know, I like to see how it affects everybody. So anytime that we get a little bit of a perspective of that, I it's all I want more. Even though it's tough conversations to have. It's a lot of gray moral areas and stuff like that. I kind of really like when the show touches on that. So I wanted to mention that. Um, other than that, a lot of this, um, I do want to say that, you know, I, I, I liked that there was kind of this, this nice moment where Ahsoka got the information. I don't really know. I mean, the information that's a whoopsie do at the end there. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Um, but I did like that Ahsoka got the information. She got a little bit of validation um, 
for her, you know, being on the mission was probably um, important and I, I do like that. I love Ahsoka. I love her growth. I think she's turning into um, just really powerful and getting a, a good head on her shoulders. Um, I like that she seems to get a little bit of influence. I know that she's obviously Anakin is, you know, she is Anakin's Padawan in that sense student in that sense but I think she also learns a lot from Obi-Wan too so I feel like she's getting a little bit of that and Plo you know I love that I just wanted to say that um so yeah other than that a lot of action but uh I enjoyed it okay I think I talked long enough uh if you'd like to support me on Patreon um or subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.